Hello people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting tutorial for you guys today as always and this is actually going to be a remake of an old tutorial I did because the method that I showed off in that tutorial no longer works so I'm going to show you guys an updated method on how to use your Xbox One controller with your Mac. So we're at our Mac now and a lot of people were running into an issue on my two-year-old video saying that their Xbox controller wasn't working. And the reason for that is because the driver that I was using in the original video doesn't work with newer Xbox controllers. So I want to say sometime mid-2016, Xbox implemented a new controller which has uh, the regular headphone jack at the bottom. It doesn't have that proprietary little plug-in thing that you need the adapter for. It's a regular headphone jack. If your controller has that headphone jack, you don't need to download this driver, or you shouldn't download this driver. You should use this driver instead. He, he does say explicitly, this driver only works with the original Xbox controller, so you have to use this one instead, which happens to be this one right here. And I'll have a link to both of these drivers in the description down below so that there's no confusion whatsoever which one you should be using. And I know what you guys are saying to yourselves right now. Matt, this says Xbox 360 controller. We're talking about Xbox One controller. What are you doing? I know. I don't know why he named it like this, but believe me, this will work with the Xbox One controller. So if we come into system preferences, you'll see that I have two uh, Xbox controller drivers installed. This one that is just the Xbox logo, that one is for the older controllers. The one that is of the 360 controller, that is for newer controllers. So depending on which driver you have, you get it downloaded, you get it installed, then you want to plug in your controller. Then you'll notice if we uh, go into either one of these controller things that uh, it gets recognized. It should get recognized. There we go. Just need to refresh. Same thing with the other one. If you come in here, you press the stuff, it recognizes it. For people with the newer controller that are using this driver, you need to go into the advanced settings and check off under spoofing preferences, pretend to be an Xbox 360 controller. With the hardware or the firmware that comes with the newer controllers, it makes them not as compatible with a lot of the older games or emulator games or games in Steam. So by checking off that, you sort of trick the computer into thinking that this is an Xbox 360 controller and you can instantly get a lot more support. So let me just clear everything up just one last time, summarize it all together. If you're using a newer Xbox One controller, you need the Xbox 360 driver. If you're using an older Xbox One controller, then you just need the Xbox One driver. And then lastly, I just wanted to show you guys that this does actually work. I had to uninstall the other driver that I don't need in order to uh, get my controller to work because I can't have both of them on here. But if we just launch like Zelda or whatnot, mute that sound. Oh, and then we go through this, we can skip this, we can call ourselves whatever we want. So I just wanted to show you that it works and that I wasn't, you know, just making this stuff up. It, it does actually work. It's not broken. You just got to have the right driver, that's all. But that's the video that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. If you get stuck on any step, feel free to drop me a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. But other than that, make sure to click on that subscribe button to see more videos like this and take care.